Hello, hello. Happy Friday, everybody. It's Friday Sews. A little bit of sewing, a little bit of life. I'm Stephanie, and I want to thank you for stopping by and watching my channel. I was filming my fabric haul for a swimsuit fabric a few minutes ago, which I don't know if that's going to post before this video or after, but watch for it. And it was so nice. I didn't want to go in the house. So I'm in my um, upper area. We're kind of on a slopey hill, so we have an upper area, and I can look down on the house and the deck, but it's nice and cool up here. You can hear my waterfall, and who wants to go inside? It's a perfect temperature. The birds are singing. It's so nice. So here I am. And Friday sews. I've got two makes to share with you. Two. One I've been talking about a long time, and that is the granddaughter dress is done. So excited to share this with you. This is Simplicity. I'll put this up there. It's 8875 and we did view D. When I say we, I mean she picked it. She picked the pattern. She told me what kind of fabric she wanted and which view. Simply simple. It's very much like simple. And this dress is very simple. In fact, I thought it might be too boring until I tried it on and it just was so elegant and pretty. I really think she's going to like it. So here it is. I'm going to show it to you on my dress form because it just looks so much better there. But I have to tell you, I'm really proud of this dress. There were some really hard things that I struggled with the first time I tried to make this dress and I fixed them all. And I feel really good about it. Like if someone looked at this, I would be proud of it. I don't have anything to pick at on this dress. And that is kind of a mini miracle for me. I almost always am like, well, if only I could show you all my mistakes. Uh, it only took me three tries to put in this zipper. And I'm getting close to feeling okay about zippers. This zipper I'm happy with. I'm just happy with it. I won't be embarrassed about this zipper at all. It turned out really good. So I'm happy with it. I fixed, this was a trouble spot right here. And I fixed it. I got it just right, following the directions and just taking my time. Um, I didn't have a lot of gathers here because I, I made this dress a little bigger. I took out the took out those fisheye seams in the front because she wanted it to flow a little bit and be less figure tight. So I will show it to you with her in it as soon as I can. All I have left is the hem and I think I'm just going to hem it as is because it seems like she likes that dress. Uh, watch last week's video and you'll see what I had to say about that. So I kind of was thinking I want to make this swimsuit, but I also wanted to show you the fabric, so I didn't want to cut it last night. And I thought, I just want to make something fast and easy for this trip. We're going on a trip with our family for my granddaughter's graduation, hence the graduation dress, the green one. And I thought, what am I going to wear? What am I going to bring? I want to be comfy. And I like my fit and flare dresses I've been making lately are definitely going and hoodies. I love those. And I have a couple of favorites. Um, my all-time favorite hoodie dress is the sweater dress. I think I can show you that one. And um, I thought I could make another sort of another fit and flare to bring, or I could make another hoodie. Which one? And then I had it, an idea. Both in one dress. So <laughs> this fit and flare is almost unrecognizable from the original pattern at this point. So if you like it, I'll have to tell you all the things I've changed about it. But it is another fit and flare. I think this is number five. And wait for it. This fit and flare has a hood. Let me show you me wearing it. So as I'm filming this, I still need to hem it. I'm assuming I will hem it in a few moments and then try it on for you. So hopefully that worked out. But just so many cool things. This is the Fit and Flare, which is a free pattern that you can get from So, S-O, So, S-E-W, easy. So, so easy. And it's a downloadable pattern and she has a video explaining how to make it. The changes I made are I lengthened the sleeves, sort of to match this dress a little bit more. The, her sleeves were more here and my sleeves I like here. And then also I added pockets. 
And on most of my fit and flares since the first one, I've also changed the facing, the neck facing into a neck band, which is just like this is a neck band. But this was an experiment. So I took the hood off my hoodie dress, this new look, 6529. I just took the hood off and then I laid the um, front piece, this front piece, next to my front piece on the hoodie, on the um, fit and flare. And it was just a slight difference in the neckline. Now I changed the neckline on the fit and flare. It was way down here and I made it up here. So all I had to do was make it a little bit of a V right there so that it could accommodate this hood. So that's what I did and hallelujah, it just worked. It's a mini miracle, truly, that it worked because the whole time I was putting this hood on, I was like lost. The reason is because I lined it. I lined it. So it's, the inside of this fabric looks like this. And I didn't want the inside of this hood to be like that. And I know a couple of you have commented on wanting to line it. And so I thought, I want to line it. So I did. And this is light, nice and light fabric. I got in one of my fabric hauls. It's a double knit brushed something. Double brushed knit. I don't know. Anyways, I think I got this from Knit Pop. Love this fabric. It's so soft and um i just assumed i could just put a hood and line it i just assumed i could and i did how you ask no idea because so many times last night when i was putting this hood in i thought oh i've done it wrong it how is this going to work this doesn't fit oh i did this wrong it worked it totally worked i just cut the hood out twice right sides together turn them inside out and then i just um, I followed the instructions, I'll tell you basically, I followed the instructions on the hood and I did the, uh, the double stitching from here to here. And then I put the two hoods together, right sides together. And then when I turned them inside out, I took some twin needle all around this part, kind of make it lay flat. So that's that part. Oh, no, I'm adding this in later. I wanted to say one thing about this. If you do add in this hood yourself, um, since I lined it, that meant there was there was a certain amount of this that was meant to fold in. About about like about that much is like a little inner lining, and it's in the hood. So what I did is I I just measured. I could see where it folds in. You could see at the bottom where it folds in, and I measured that spot, and I chalked it off all the way around, and cut cut that much off so that it wouldn't be awkward and just be too big right here. So I'm I. I once I knew I was lining it, I didn't need the extra room for turning it in. I hope that makes sense if you do the hood. Just a little PS. So, I know this is going to be a new favorite. Probably a new favorite. Just so cute. I have even more ideas for some different sleeves. I may never make a different dress. I don't know. I don't know. Hey, I go with what I want to wear. Do you think that? Like, I know what I want to wear. I have a few patterns I still want to try, for sure. And yet, I kind of want to make some stuff up. So let's do a little bit of life. I'm really excited about our trip with our family. And um, so I gave up posting duties years ago to my daughter. She's 40 now. And I've told her many times, you, get, you took on this hosting way too young in your life. You're going to have it for too long now. But she loves to cook. She has a big house, the kids, you know, that's always a draw. Everyone wants to be around those precious angels. So she's always the host for any family get togethers, holidays, birthdays, whatever. She's the host. Now we're going to my granddaughter's graduation and my son and his family live north of us. It takes us, I don't know, six to eight hours to get to their house. And then south is the granddaughter, six to eight hours to get to her. So they're coming here, spending a day or two and then we're all going down together and then they're coming back here and spending a day or two. So it's going to be a lot of family and they're all going to stay at her house. I have plenty of room, but they're going to stay at her house. Uh, so we decided to have a Mother's Day brunch the day before we go, even though it's a few days after Mother's Day, because we just didn't get to do Mother's Day. It's just none of our schedules work. You know, my son-in-law works at the hospital. He didn't have time. My husband has to do some last minute shoots just so he can take the time off. So we're doing a little here. I'm hosting Mother's Day. I usually host Mother's Day. She hosts everything else. So we're having a brunch and I'm super excited y'all because 
my son and his wife and my granddaughters, they haven't seen all these COVID projects. They haven't seen this. They haven't seen anything. Like, it, it's going to be fun to show, you know, painting my table. My, I think that, they, I don't think they've even seen my sewing room. I mean, a year. And so much has changed around here. So I'm really excited about that. And so not only do I have to get ready for a trip, but I got to make sure that everything looks really good around here because I want to show it off to them and uh, just enjoy. You know, they grew up here. All my kids grew up here in this house. My husband grew up in this house, you guys. It's just, it's just our, our place, man. I mean, he grew up in this house and we've lived here since my, my youngest was one when we moved here and he's 34. I've lived in this house a long time. It's mine now, <laughs> 100%. doesn't have anything left that was from then. Uh, anywho, so that's kind of what's on my mind right now. Um, I guess there really isn't a whole lot going on in my life in particular. I'm, um, it's funny because I came out here and I filmed on my iPhone and then it went dead and I thought, well, I'll just go get my camera. You know, I have a really nice camera. I use that in my sewing room. So when you watch my Friday shows, I'm using a camera and there's nothing wrong with using an iPhone. I'm using it right now because I went and got my camera and I couldn't work it. It's still kind of new to me. And when it switches to video, I don't know how the buttons work. I know what I want to do. I just don't know how to make it happen. So we're taking a camera course on my camera. It's a newer kind of style of camera that my husband doesn't even have a mirrorless, he call, they call it. And so he wants to learn about it because that will be his next camera. And he'd like to kind of jump the gun. So we're going to take this class together and maybe I'll learn how to use my camera. <laughs> I would love that. I'm going to be helping my son with the wedding soon. And I need to, I need to be like ready to use my camera. Like I need to, I need to know how it works. I can't go back to my old one. I don't even remember that one. So there's that. Looking forward to the trip. Pretty much all I'm thinking about and um, making the, making this bathing suit. So I have a lot coming to tell you about. I haven't even started on the bathing suit, but I'm sure there's going to be quite a bit to tell. And uh, I'm mostly inspired by Marisos. I'm going to mention her in my uh, video. So she's getting shouts out from everybody because we all want to make swimsuits like her. She's just a guru of swimsuits. Amazing. And let's see, what else? Beautiful weather. I'm boring. I haven't been doing anything but sewing. <laughs> it's all sewing and camper, sewing, camper, sewing, camper. And you know what? That's literally all I want to do. Like if I'm not home, I just want to be home. I could be in my sewing room making something. Does that make me crazy? That's just pretty much, you know, I told Hubby this morning when we were sitting on the deck, I said, I, I don't think I've ever liked my life more than I do right now. It's just so, I'm so happy. I have just fun doing what I like to do. And I still get to see my family and I get to be around my kids and grandkids and, you know, love where I live, love my house. We've been able to kind of fix it up more and more and more and it gets more lovely all the time. I'm loving this part of my life. You know, it's funny because you think you're going to be sad when all your kids move away. And I am. I miss those times when I was a mom, but I also don't. Like, I also don't miss it because it was busy and bustly and it just flew by. It flew by. Like, they are having, like, memories that I don't even remember. Oh, do you remember when this? Do you remember when that? And I'm like, no, I don't remember. <laughs> I feel like, whoa, am I that old lady now that doesn't remember anything? Pretty much. So, you know, I'm just enjoying life. And I'm hoping to spend some time with my granddaughters as on our way back. I'd like them to stay here, but they, you know, the little kids are quite a pull. But uh, if they give their Grammy some time, they might get something out of it, right? You know, like clothes, sewing lesson. Never know. <sighs> okay, enough boring chatter. I have nothing else to say. I hope you're having an awesome day and I'm going to leave you with happy birthday to Buster. He's my sewing buddy. He's my life buddy. He's with me all the time and I have to show you how adorable he was the day I got him. Little cutie pie. That's my Buster. So I hope you're having a great day. Have a great weekend and I will see you back for Travel Trailer Tuesday or Friday Sews or who knows what else might be coming down the pike. I'll see you later. Bye-bye now.